Let's move on to main topic number two. Chris, what is our second main topic today? This question comes from views from Josh. Hey, John. After a year with so many billion dollar comic book movies, it now almost seems like the norm. But looking at the 2020 releases, I don't see a film that will do it. Maybe Wonder Woman? Thanks for taking my question and keep up the great work. Good job on all your great work, John. What do you think about these movies? What's <laughs> yeah. going to make a billion? So we've got, we've got seven films, seven comic book movies right now, uh, at least the mainstream ones, coming out in 2020. And there are a couple I'm very excited about. When you hold it up, though, to like the 2019 lineup or the 2018 lineup, it starts to look a little weak by comparison. But I think there are a couple of gold ones in there, you know, and that I am excited about. Are any of them going to hit a billion dollars, though? I'll be right. I'll be honest with you. I don't see any of the films that are coming out in 2020, the, the comic book movie films at any rate, that I would say, yeah, you can take it to the bank that that one's going to make a billion dollars. I don't see any that would do that right now. But I see a couple that have strong potential to do it, and I see a couple that have almost no chance to do it. So let's go over. Let's break down the numbers right now. Okay, let's check this out. Chances that the Birds of Prey actually makes a billion dollars. I, I give this one the second less, the least a chance. I give it a 15% chance. I mean, I think it's almost a guarantee it doesn't, but we've seen stranger things happen, and who knows? Maybe this thing, Hugh McGregor knocks us out of the park. Maybe it's a thing, but I can't go any higher than 15% that this one joins a billion dollar club. Then we've got the darkest of the dark horses here, and we got New Mutants. Uh, 5%, you might be asking yourself, is that 5% that it's going to make a billion or is that 5% that it actually gets released into theaters? <laughs> I'll, I'll get, look, just because I don't like to say zero anything, who knows, something might come out of nowhere and surprise us. I'm going to go 5% for New Mutants. Then we take a big jump up because we're talking about the MCU. We're talking about the Black Widow movie. I'm going to give that one a solid 45% chance. I still think unlikely, but definitely a legitimate chance because it is the MCU. However, as somebody pointed out to me the other day, you know, when Star Wars did a movie with a big beloved character that died, and then they did a quick follow-up movie with a prequel with that character, it didn't do so well. And we're talking about Solo. You know, we just saw Black Widow in Endgame, die in Endgame, now quickly following it up with a, uh, with a Solo movie. I'm not so sure, so I'm not going to go any higher than 45, but I'll go solid 45. Then we go into what I think is the second best chance, and that is Wonder Woman 84. Remember, the first Wonder Woman, big hit. Patty Jenkins crushed it. She's back to direct the next one. So that means I'm just going to assume she's going to crush it again. We just saw Aquaman for the DCU make a billion dollars. So again, it still had a ways to go to get to a billion, but I'm going to say it's actually likely that Wonder Woman 84 will hit a billion. Not, not by a huge margin, but I'm going to go 55%. So I'm just going to tip the scale to likely. Then we got Morbius. I'll tell you what, you know Robert and I are fascinated by this movie. I think there's some such cool things you could do with this character. You got an Academy Award winner, Jared Leto, playing, playing the role. But still, it's just one of those odd films. It's a, a very unknown character. All that kind of stuff rolled into one. Not impossible, but I'm going to go as low as 20% on that. Then we've got Venom 2. The first Venom, despite everybody saying nobody will go, you can't do a Venom movie without Spider-Man, it's impossible, no one's going to care, blah, blah, This movie only came out and made over $800 million. If they can now, you've got um, Andy Serkis directing this new one. Now they just assigned like a multi-time Academy Award winning cinematographer who said he signed up because he thought the script was incredible. I think you've got a decent chance that we could, like two years ago saying, hey, there's going to be a Venom and it's going to be successful and then the sequel will make a billion dollars. That seemed inconceivable, but I'm telling you what, I'm going to make it a flat up coin toss that Venom 2 makes a billion dollars. I'm not saying it will, I'm not saying it won't, but I think it's a coin toss. Then I think you got your most likely, which I think is Eternals. Now, this is a little bit of a change of position for me because a little while ago, I wasn't sure that Eternals had all that big potential, but the more I'm seeing the cast... And when I, the second, this is, I've been to two conventions now where they've brought out the cast, once at Comic-Con, once at D23, and it was the biggest pop they got. And when you look back to the success that a Guardians of the Galaxy had when it came out, and this is a little bit in that vein. Again, I'm not going to say take it to the bank that it's going to make a billion dollars, but I give it the best shot 
out of all those right now. I'm going to give this one the best shot at making a billion dollars. So that's how I've got that kind of lined up right now is uh, I'm going to say most likely chance is going to be Eternals. Aaron, as you look at this list, what do you think the chances are? Which ones do you think have the best chances of, say, hitting that kind of plateau of joining the Billion Dollar Club? The two that stick out to me the most are the Eternals and Wonder Woman. And one mm. of the reasons why, um, I mean, the Eternals, I agree with you, it just everything that we're hearing about this movie, the it's sort of the opposite of what's going on with Birds of Prey, that initially Birds of Prey had a lot of like, oh, that's going to be really exciting, and Margot Robbie, and but the more we're hearing about it, the more people are going, oh, I don't know, I don't know about that. Uh, the excitement seems to be deflating for Birds of Prey as more information comes out, whereas with Eternals, the more information we find out, the more the enthusiasm seems to build. Wonder Woman, um, you know, Wonder Woman didn't get to a billion dollars the first one. That no, being that. yeah. That being said, it got to 841 million, which I think is pretty pretty good. I also one of the things that always sticks out to me when I think about Wonder Woman is when I was walking out of the theater and I saw three dads with their three little girls and they were just watching the girls jumping off of these huge boulder rocks that are outside of the arc light and pretending to stab things with swords and pretending to soar through the air and leap and jump and um it really makes me re it reminds it re makes me realize oh yeah wonder woman is that movie that a parent wants to bring their kids to their little boys and their little girls and i don't necessarily think that black widow has that same thing like I, that's not a movie that parents are going to want to bring their kids to that I, I i'd imagine and i also think that you're absolutely right i'm really surprised that black widow didn't come out before endgame and i think that mm. that's going to be a big i think that's going to be a big problem for them it's gonna be interesting to see if that plays into it well listen guys we decided to make that the theme of today's question of the day the question i wanted to ask you guys is what do you think has the best chances of joining the billion dollar club now because twitter only gives us uh two or four options to put on there wow. and because let's face it morbius and new mutants weren't going to join the billion dollar club anyway we asked you guys i put this up just before the show Listen. started and as of right now over 1500 of you guys have cast your votes and in the lead by a wide margin for all the reasons that aaron just said is wonder woman 1984 uh then that 57 percent black widow is at 16 percent and then you got eternals and venom 2 both tied at 13 percent so by a margin you guys are clearly believe that the one film that's got the best chance of hitting that billion dollar club is wonder woman 1984 and it's hard to argue against that at this point question is what do the rest of you guys think about that jump on over to my twitter and register your vote or jump down to the comment section below let us know which film you think has the best chance and let us know why and we'll look forward to seeing your comments in there all right with that